My name is Sean and I'm going to teach you how to clean a trumpet. You'll need a couple of items before starting. Clean, soft rags, a lot of them. Valve oil, slide oil, slide grease, anything you normally use for trumpet maintenance. A cleaning snake, mouthpiece brush, valve brush, dish soap, and a trumpet. You will also want a big clean sink or bathtub to submerge the trumpet in water. The first thing we will want to do is to wipe all the grease and oil off of the slides and the valves. That way, when we submerge the trumpet, it doesn't get all in the water, and then you're not actually cleaning the trumpet, you're just bathing it in its own filth. Go ahead and take the clean rags and wipe off all of the slides on the trumpet, as well as the metal parts on the trumpet itself that the slides connect to, to get off all of the grease. You can leave the slides off of the trumpet. Next, we're going to remove the valves. We can't submerge the full valve because there's a part of it that has a spring and felt, and those get ruined if they're in the water. So I'll show you how to take apart the valve in a second. Don't forget to remove the valve caps as well. Use a rag to remove all of the grease and oil from each of the valves. Be careful not to drop these because they're made out of a very malleable metal. Let's take the valves apart. So this gray portion of the valve is made out of Monet metal and is very sensitive. So again, do not drop this. Here we can see the spring and usually there's felt around here. In my model, there's not. There is felt right under this cap though. And to take the valve apart, all you need to do is twist this part right here and then it'll come off. Be careful not to turn this over because there is a spring that will come out. Remove the spring and go ahead and put it in a place where it won't roll away. Still inside of the valve will be a piece of plastic or metal that holds the spring in place. Go ahead and remove this, but before you remove it, make sure to check which way it goes in so it doesn't get turned around. Sometimes slow valves are caused by acid buildup on the gray part of the valve. You can see those brown spots right there. That can be removed by putting a little bit of toothpaste on the valve and letting it soak in in the affected areas. Time to fill the sink. You'll want to make sure that the water isn't too cold or too hot. You'll want to aim for lukewarm water. Let the water fill until it submerges the trumpet fully. At this point, you can add a drop or two of dish soap if you would like, but I wouldn't recommend it if your trumpet is older and has cracks in the plating, as that can make the cracks worse. Once the water fills up in the tub, go ahead and gently set your trumpet at the bottom of the sink or the tub and wait about 10 to 15 minutes for the water to sink into the instrument. Don't forget to add your slides in as well. While your trumpet is soaking, it's a good time to rinse off your valves. You can just go ahead and use water for this. I just am going to use the sink here. If you choose to clean the valves like this in this step, it's important to let the valves air dry instead of using some kind of cloth to dry them off because the cloth, again, since the metal is sensitive, could leave bits stuck in there and harm your instrument later. When the trumpet is done soaking, Leave the trumpet under the water and feed the snake through the lead pipe like so, pulling the snake through once it gets to the other end. Some people like to do this step out of the water, but I think it's best to do it in the water because then that way all the gunk and stuff will really get out of the trumpet, but you can do either or. You're also going to want to feed the snake through parts of the slides, although you want to be careful not to get it stuck. Notice that I'm only feeding part of the snake through the tuning slide, and I'll do this for the rest of the other slides as well. If you have a brush for the valve casings, this is the point in which you can feed it through the casings. Again, some people will do this outside of the trumpet, but I like to do this underwater because it'll get all the extra gook out of the way. Don't forget to rinse off the valve caps. Once you're done putting the snake through the trumpet and cleaning all the different parts, this is the time when you can start draining the sink. And as you see here, I'm cleaning off my trumpet again with the faucet. That's because if you use dish soap, you probably want to rinse it again just so that you don't have any of that soapy water inside the trumpet. 
I'm also going to do this for the slides as well. You can let your trumpet air dry or you can clean it off with a soft cloth from before. Remember that you don't want to use the cloth on the valves because the metal part is sensitive and again we don't want to damage the horn. Put your horn back together. At this point, you can start greasing all the slides and oiling the valves. Remember that you want to use a thicker slide grease for the tuning slide since it doesn't need to move so fast, and you can use a soft slide grease for the first, second, and third slides. A good trick for having your slides work really fast is to apply a little bit of valve oil to the slide after putting slide grease on. It only really needs to be a drop. You don't want to drown it at all in valve oil. Oil up your valves. Clean the mouthpiece as so if you feel so inclined. And that's it. Enjoy your shiny and clean trumpet. Let me know if you have any questions.